I have been here for 10 hours and I left early this morning and I left my puppy, my nemeth old puppy Bilan at home and she's never been left this uh, this long throughout a day. So I'm hoping that when I get home, uh, she's had no accidents and she's <laughs> not stressed and she's just like chilling out in her crate. So we'll see. I gave her a run this morning, um, but we'll see. Good morning. Uh, today is going to be a busy, but I think probably pretty exciting day. I'm doing something a bit unusual. Um, I was actually supposed to be away this weekend in Rhode Island and I decided to uh, pull out of the competition and just take some time off for the summer. Um, and I heard uh, two uh, friends of mine from England are coming over to do a course design program. So uh, I'm super excited. It's something that I'm really interested in as far as the agility sport goes. So I have a couple courses prepared and I have to drive an hour and a half towards Tottenham. I don't even know I'm the worst person with directions. I just hope my GPS gets me there. Um, but the big stress of the day so far was getting all of the dogs uh, uh, walked and bathroomed and fed. Ken got up really early this morning and went to fire so I sort of had to look after the herd on my own. Um, luckily every single dog in the house went to the bathroom this morning which um, for any dog person that has to leave for eight hours in a day, you really hope that happens. So I am very late. I'm about 20 minutes late from when I'm supposed to leave. Uh, but other than that, things are going good. So uh, hopefully the day will be fun and I'll uh, get a couple shots from then. Hey guys, I'm here with Lee and Greg from England. Um, they are the ones that are uh, putting on the uh, judges design clinic today. So I'm gonna let them talk a little bit about um, why they're here and sort of what they're hoping to accomplish with this uh, awesome new idea that they that they have uh, brought to us. Hi there, yeah, um, thanks Kel for having us on your blog. Um, yeah, the global judging program here in Canada. Um, we're trying to get judges to sort of uh, you know, look at the skills that they're developing and trying to sort of really get a passion back for judging. We want judges to have a passion about their course design and about their safety and about all the elements that make them the complete judge. So these two days we're going to be helping these judges in lots of different areas. There's loads of modules. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to get judges to have a passion and want to go out there to be not just good judges, but really great judges. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, and I found this morning they uh, picked apart some of my judges, uh, my courses, which was really valuable. And apparently I need to work on my lower level courses because I was a little bit better at the harder stuff. <laughs> I guess maybe because that's what I'm yeah. used to handling or yeah. designing. But uh, yeah, I think that this is a really good opportunity for people, even if you're not a judge, to learn more about course design, which is probably going to allow you to be a better handler as well, right? Uh, absolutely. I think handling, you can, you can definitely benefit. But yeah, as you said, you had quite a lot of red labels on your lower level yeah. course. and. Sometimes you don't want red, a lot of red in your beginner. <laughs> it's, um, it's more a case of judges actually understanding and sometimes even the simple lines, judges can be setting up skill tests that are in fact actually really, really difficult. Yeah. And, and I think it's that, it's, that's what we're trying to get out of this, is to make judges aware of what they're setting up, make sure it's appropriate, make sure it's safe, but just that kind of general consideration, which then when we're competitors, you know, we can, we can also sort of uh, embrace. So yeah. it, it's not just judges, trainers everyone you know can get on board mm -hmm. with this and I really like that you guys promoted the idea of um, being creative as well um, and we talked a lot about involving a lot of the obstacles um, that you might normally see in higher levels in the lower levels so that you're basically preparing the dogs in the lower levels yeah. to be able to move on instead of making it so easy and then getting to a higher level and then being faced with all these crazy challenges so that there's a Absolutely. bit more of a flow which I think is really good yeah, that stepping stone of progression, you know, trying to integrate these obstacles at mm -hmm. the lower levels. That's where, you know, young dogs and handlers, that's where they need the practice. Okay. Take it away to the training field and train the dogs properly on it. What mm -hmm. we don't want is dogs coming through inexperienced and without 
the um, the training on those more difficult obstacles and then suddenly they're faced with them at the big event at the finals when the pressure's on and in the big high level classes that's when accidents are going to happen let's actually prepare our dogs and handlers properly let's put them mm -hmm. into the lower levels it's something that we're really passionate about mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what do you think greg yeah i agree with everything it says <laughs> yeah i think we need to um i just need to be in the whole world agility getting back in control yeah um, helping the standard increase again uh, rather than competitors, you know, sort of intimidating judges to set up easy stuff, so um, and uh, taking out all the skills and the, yeah. the equipment, we need judges to be taken back in control, increase the standard again, and um, do a better job. And um, we, we want to support the judges to do a better job rather than set them up to be sort of killed on Facebook. Yeah, uh, I <laughs> attend an event called the WAO World Agility Open that uh, Greg puts on, and I've gone since 2011, no, 12 uh, maybe, uh, right. was my uh, first year. It's probably my favorite. Favorite event of the entire year. It's the Always, best event of the I know. Year, yeah, it is. It's pretty darn awesome. Uh, great comp competition. Well organized. We talked about um, uh, things from a host perspective again today. So, anyway, so many good things. So, if you're a judge and you want more information on uh, how to improve or or uh, anything along those lines, I would highly recommend that you guys get in touch with these two um, and uh, maybe bring them out to your area for a lecture or a seminar or get on uh, on their Facebook group. What's your Facebook? group name uh, just global judging global yeah. judging program right yeah, or just yeah, judging yeah. Global judging program, but yeah, put global judging in it'll it'll come, come up. up. Yeah, on Facebook, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can add yourself to that and then you can stay up to date as to uh, where they're going to be. Yep. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So I just finished uh, my day at the Global Judging uh, Program Lecture um, from Lee Gibson and Greg Derrett. Uh, again, they came over from England. Um, and uh, I'm really feeling inspired to maybe start up some of the competitions that I was having throughout the year and uh, get back to a bit of course, uh, course designing. Um, I learned some great uh, tricks and tips on being a better course designer and also being a better judge. Now, I'm not used to be a judge, but um, I don't really do that much anymore but I think that learning those things is going to make me a better competitor and also a, a better coach and a better instructor as well the more you can learn about your sport the better you can uh, you can help others with it and it was really cool to see how passionate these guys were um, about what they're doing so uh, I think it's really good and I think that it's something that definitely courses in our country um, need the judges need um, there was a great turnout of judges today um, a lot of familiar faces and um, it was just it was just a really good day so I'm really glad that I came so uh, uh, the only scary part is I have been away for like 10 hours now and my puppy has never been left that long before so uh, I'm gonna try and get home as quickly but as safely as I can and uh, just hope that poor little B is uh, is okay at home um, she is in her crate and she had a good little run before I put her away, but just she's nine months and she's just not used to that. So uh, fingers crossed that everything will be fine when I get home. Okay, traffic was actually really good on the way home. I'm about to go into the house. It's a moment of truth. Let's see. Uh, let's see how the baby puppy did. Hi, monkey. How are we doing in there? Oh, we are bathroom free. You're so good. Outside. Outside. She loves going in the car. Hi, baby. Hi. Hurry up. Oh, she's excited. Hurry up. Oh, it's a good girl. Oh, well, that's a relief. Now I have uh, eight more to check. Hopefully you are more impressed with the fact that my puppy went to the bathroom so quickly on command than you were that I just videotaped her peeing. <laughs> Oops, sorry. So it is light enough for me to take these dudes to the park. Look at those faces. You guys wanna go for a run? Wanna go outside? I think Hippie is like ready to go. She also really desperately needs a haircut. So if you're a poodle owner, please don't judge me. Hi guys. So we're really lucky because we have this awesome pen from them in the back. So they can <laughs> pet me, Mackers. He says, come and pet me, mom. 
we can leave them outside and they have a little shaded area to lie in. Hi! Hi! Good dogs, Granny. Um, they have a shaded area to lie in and it's just great because they have their own little space. Okay. B. B, lie down. B, lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Wait. Okay. So I make her lie down first because she's really pumped about running with the other dogs. So I make her show a hi, hippie. I make her show a little bit of control first before she has to go. And then I'll practice uh, calling her back several times. So this is the beautiful park near a house. It backs on to uh, a trail, which I'm not going on tonight because it's getting pretty close to like coyote time. Uh, but at least these guys get to burn for a little bit. And uh, usually at this time, it's a little cooler so they don't overheat. And there's usually nobody here. Baseball diamonds and whatnot. Good. There's little B. B, lie down. Ah, lie down. Good girl. Yes, okay. Okay. All the other border collies lie down too. What you got, Slam? Oh, good one. Half filled water bottle. Let's go, fun! Come on! Good. Okay, lie down. Lie down. All the border collies. Good, lie down. Even the old one. Good boy, Jack. Good boy. Lie down! Funky, lie down! She thinks I can't see her back there. There in the middle. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Rad, okay. Good boy, Rad. Good boy. B, lie down. Yes. Okay. Good. Girl. So, this is Funky's favorite reward when she's, when I call her to come. Funky, come! At a girl! Yeah! <laughs> she runs through the middle of my legs. <laughs> Beeline here, babe. Good girl, be here. All the way in. Good. Yes, you're listening so good today, baby. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. So much better having the long line on her. I haven't had to use it at all today, which has been nice. But, oh, she's tired of playing in the clay grass. You can see the walk has uh, gotten a little calmer. Hero's tired. No one's really sprinting anymore. What's this little one doing? <laughs> Hi, baby. Come on, old man. Truck it along there, Tic Tac. Tack is almost 14 years old, aren't you, buddy? So I just watched the video back and realized that I look like a completely crazy dog lady with the amount of dogs that we have right now. Keep in mind that I have my parents' dogs too, which is why it looks like we have so many. Just wanted to add that in. So as these guys get a drink and cool down, I'm gonna leave them out here for a little bit just so that uh, they can enjoy the beautiful weather. I am gonna go inside and relax for the night because Ken's working fire and I have the house to myself. Not that I don't like spending time with Ken, but you know, sometimes it's just better to watch the shows that you wanna watch. <laughs> 
Anyways, thanks for watching for today. Say bye, Sam Sam.